that's also a negative factor for US stock markets. So US stock market also, you know, going down with this news here. Okay. But you know, overall, I think, you know, the gradually we're gonna see the peak out on the US inflation rate. That's why those kind of price dip moments on the US stock markets also the great investment timing. That's what I think about. Okay. Hi, hello, I'm Mr. Nassar. So today's the regular item, Bitcoin weekly forecast, my full updates from October 3rd to October 9th. Okay, so let's start. Then this is my full performance as well now. So total return since March 2019 is 477%. Then if you are interested in much more detailed information about my portfolio allocations and also my real time, buy and setting action for every single crypto asset, including ICO, IDEO, or DeFi, please think about to join my premium membership program, Real Time Buy and Setting Signal. The major purpose of this membership program to help to reach your crypto asset performance to my level here. The formal detail, please check my other video. Then here's my video link. Okay. Then let's start here, Bitcoin. So, as usual, let's start from SRP. So this is a weekly chart. So I don't change any kind of price prediction since last week. So still the SRP is a price question moment after the corona shock. Then I added the you know, then I put the additional analysis here. First one is you know more long-term, you know, Fibonacci based analysis here. Then once we're gonna put the starting point in a you know price dip moment after the corona shock. Then we're gonna hit, you know, we also set maximum stat on Fibonacci on the top of the last time all time out here. Still, we are in a pricing question moments here. The interesting point about you know this analysis here that you know the Fibonacci base point, the price question moments at the start of 0 0.618, 618, you know, this kind of long-term price score question moments. Then also we're gonna pay attention to last time, like you know, the cheap price and high price. Then we're gonna set, you know, price questions on Fibonacci base one. The 1.618. That level is actually pretty much equal, as you can see here. You see this? So both are, they're gonna hit 3200. So still, you know, that price question level, to me, it's pretty accurate. Think about the SRP market move here, okay? The another additional analysis here is a you know rectangle box one, orange mark one here. So usually it's gonna repeat twice at least. The last price, you know, the once we're gonna put the last price planche with you know orange rectangle here, and I will, I'm gonna put the you know, second rectangle here, you know, current in the price planche here. Still, it's not the end yet, right? Then that's that's also show us like. 3300s, you know, bottom level. So still, I'm gonna hold my price prediction that the you know, S&P 500, their price and question level will be end up to 3200s to 3300s, as I show you here. The that timing is also one of the best, you know, additional investment timing for crypto assets too, because you know, crypto asset market will follow up U.S. stock market at this moment. That's why. Okay. Then here's the additional analysis. SRP futures market. This is a daily chart. Then as you can see, I'm gonna draw down these you know, blue trend line, as you can see here. Then price take the reversal action against the middle line here. You see this here? The you know red circle here. So you know, which means that the more and more trader and the investor they're gonna follow up this you know trend line price move here. So that's why in the price swing questions, much more like you know, higher probability. It's gonna happen right now on the SRP market too. Okay. Then that's why US inflation rates. So this is the biggest update this week. Okay. October 13th, this Thursday. So we have to seriously pay attention to this. So last time is 8.3%. So if this stats not so going to down, you know, big enough, that's also a negative factor for US stock markets. So US stock market also, you know, going down with this news here. Okay. But you know, overall, I think, you know, the gradually we're gonna see the peak out on the US inflation rate. That's why those kind of price dip moments on the US markets also the great investment timing. That's what I'm thinking about. Okay. Then next one. 
US WTI crude oil weekly chart basis. It's a little bit, you know, pretty difficult to predict the price move here because, you know, as I told you last week, we're gonna already see, you know, the BIS breakout again. This is you know, a blue line, trend line here, as I show you here. The price probably going down to, you know, Fibonacci, you know, number one here, sixty-two dollars or so. But last week, we're gonna see the pretty big, you know, price surge here. It's pretty big candle bar here, as you can see. So if the oil price will remain higher than this, you know, bottom price line, bull line, trail line here, I think crude oil markets tend to be bullish again. So, but it's kind of critical moments. If they cannot maintain this trail line here last week or so, I think going back to, you know, bearish trend again, that's what I'm thinking about. Okay. Then all the time about, you know, oil market, please remember that higher oil price has a negative impact on the U.S. inflation rate. Okay, that's also a negative impacts on the U.S. stock market. That's why we have to continuously following up, you know, this market here. Okay. The next one, U.S. initial jobless claim weekly updates last week plus fifteen point twenty six percent. It's pretty big increase here. Okay, so we have to little pay attention to next month's, you know, U.S. unemployment rate from here. Okay. Then about the you know, U.S. unemployment rate, we got updates, you know, last month, right? So September 3.50, so going down again, but it's not quite a big, okay? So it's kind of a little bit, you know, steady move here right now, right? Then that's one, U.S. 10-year treasury notes. All right, so here I also use rectangle box here. Then think about, you know, latest move here, as I show you on the red circle, you know, Last time we're gonna see the price questions. It's actually under EMA 25 at that moment. But at this time we're gonna see, you know, quite strong price reversal actions against EMA 25 trend line here. Which means that the bullish momentum on U.S. 10-year Treasury is going up. So a lot of more investors are coming to this market right now, much more confident about you know U.S. 10-year Treasury note. In that case. Usually sharp, you know, stats increase will happen here on technical analysis based one. At that also, you know, tell us that, you know, the price punch moment, it's pretty much big one too. But at least I think, you know, end of the, this year, 2022, I think it still remain higher stats level here on this, you know, interest rates here. Because, you know, FOMC wants to maintain higher interest rates. That's why they're going to follow up this, you know, FOMC interest rates here too. That's why. Okay. Then let's BTC USDT daily chart. So as I show you this, you know, blue trend line here, they're gonna, you know, continuously throwing up this price move here. That's why gradually tend to be bearish, as I show you in the red circle here. Okay. Then more long-term analysis, weekly chart basis. Then also I'm gonna use, you know, rectangle here, orange one, as you can see. So still the price is remain higher than this, you know, orange. You know rectangle here right then also if you want to base one i also said you know 1.618 here is around 12.5k usd the interesting point is you know orange rectangle box and also this fibonacci here it's the same price level as you can see both show us 12.5k so this price level it's kind of pretty convincing for me at the you know, bottom out timing on the BTC. But since also we have to pay attention to this additional key analysis from Willy Wu. So he also tells us that you know all the time we're gonna see like a price is hitting to the supply cost structure of the Bitcoin. Then that level is currently under a little bit higher than 10K. So from that perspective to me, 10K to 12.5K USD would be a you know, the bottom out range on BTC. That's what I'm thinking about. Okay. The next one, BTC transition fee, fundamental key stats analysis. So compared to the last week is minus 21%. Big drop here. Then next one, all market cap and the BTC dominance slates. Total market cap plus 1.2% and the BTC dominance slates is 39.54%. No change. Kind of interesting. Like, you know, right before the storm is coming. Sounds like that to me. Okay. Then that's one. Google search trend. BTC minus 315. Ethereum minus 12. NFT minus 16. 
crypto, no change. So market momentum on the entire crypto asset market is also going down. That's also another negative factor. Lead the investor will not follow up this bridge line here. Okay. Then as usual, future US economy events. So this week we have to pay attention to inflation rates, October 13th, this Thursday, right? So we have to seriously pay attention to these stats updates, okay? Then that's fine. Key news updates. So key news, COVID-19. So as usual, total infection number plus 0.52%. Last week was 0.46, so it's a little bit worse. Then death ratio plus 0.15%, same as last week. So almost stay compared to last week, okay? Then key news updates, monkeypox. So a little bit the stats of recovery here, you know, October 6, 431, but still it's downtrend, okay? Then from here, I'm gonna tell you about the you know, USD JPY, mainly for the Japanese user, okay? Then first things we need to pay attention to, long-term, super long-term macro trend. So currently it's seriously bearish trend, all right? So, then key price, what I want you to pay attention to is 147.67. This is the ultimate defensive line for the Bank of Japan and the Japanese Treasury Department. Okay, once the price hit upper price breakout from here, 147.67, price separately goes up to 189. That's my analysis on Fibonacci base one. Then also pretty, you know, smoothly goes to 256. So it's kind of pretty, you know, critical moment for the JPY, right? The only way for the BOJ and the Japanese government treasury department to protect this, you know, weakening Japanese yen is pretty simple. Sell their USD and buy JPY. But that inventory is quite limited. Currently here, total stats is 1.850 billions. That's it. Then compared with the last month, both states, we get the updates on September 30th, is around over minus 10%. So sharp rate decreasing. All right, so it's pretty in a critical moment for the JPY. Then short term. So I'm going to pay attention to here. So, you know, 147.67 is a critical, you know, defensive line for the Japanese government. And then last time we're gonna see, you know, the market controlled by those government player at the 145, right? Then price is hovering around this time, right? Then my prediction is, you know, it might hit higher than 145, but you know, since 147 is a pretty big number here, so probably most of the retail investor they're gonna you know pretty worried about like you know the capital injections from the Japanese government, you know. That is why you know prices probably go down. In that case, the things you know we have to pay attention to is last time you know capital injection of the cheap price here 140.345 here. So if the price can maintain go higher here, probably they're gonna hit into this you know, red cycles over here. This is kind of ultimate timing for JPY. But if this you know, but if the price is going down from here you know from the 140 here, price probably going down to 126 here. 0.618 on Fibonacci base one here, as I show you on this, you know, lit line here. Because, you know, we already see around eight months, you know, bridge line here. That is why it's kind of natural that we're going to see the, those kind of price questions. But we don't know yet. But easy as, you know, they're going to take it. Okay. All right. So, as usual, this is the last slide. So, what's a hodo? So, most people assume that, you know, mindset as a hodo is like an upside scenario, like smooth scenario. But the reality of the hodo is pretty much the opposite. Then current entire crypto asset market is bearish price move here. That is why you are, we are in a deep moment. So one of the key points we have to understand here to get the bigger investment return in the crypto asset market is be patient. Okay. Then here the result of the hodo. So I do think that still the hodo is the best for the retail investor to minimize the risk and maximize the return because investment in crypto assets just like investment in early days of Google and Facebook. Then once we're going to look at the legendary angel investor attractions, such as Long Conway, Peter Thiel, Lidlman, all the time, they're going to take the simple investment approach. It's a long-term investment. Then here is another evidence for the Binance research. This is a Bitcoin case, and the longest hold of the Bitcoin, all the time, they're going to get the maximum investment return. In this case, plus 
much larger than but the other short term here. So I'm gonna also basically take the long term investment approach. So I'm gonna also recommend you guys to take the same approach too. Okay. All right, so that is all this time. So I'm gonna make this video for the educational purpose. So I'm not gonna guarantee you any kind of certain level investment outcome with this video or any video that I make. But I truly hope that my video will probably help you guys understand about high potential about crypto and water space. So I'm gonna make a lot of videos video on crypto and water space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.